Welcome to the Java Revisited. My name is Nadesh, and in this video, we'll have a look at why strings are immutable. Okay, so without any further delay, we'll start this video. But before starting this video, make sure you hit the like button, subscribe to this channel, and uh, check out the links in the description in which we talked about the previous video regarding the hash, hash maps. Okay, so without any further delay, let's get into this video. Okay, so when it comes to uh, string immutability, what does this uh, term actually mean when I write string immutability? String immutability, okay? You need to understand one thing that string immutability basically means that string objects are immutable. Nidish, what is the meaning of this immutability? Immutability means can't be changed. You mean that a string can't be changed? No, 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 I'm not saying like this. I'm saying string objects can't be changed we'll have a look at it what exactly i'm trying to uh, tell you okay but let's define a string uh, by string literals okay let's define the by string literals uh, say like i defined string uh, str okay string name is equal to nitish okay i defined a string called a string name is equal to nitish name is what your reference variable this is what your object where is your reference variable stored in the stack memory and object is in the heap memory so name is pointing to nitish but how how is this thing actually working see this is in the stack memory okay this this name is in the stack memory why stack memory because it is a reference variable and we know that reference variables are where in the stack memory but in object in strings case when it comes to heap memory and writing by literals literals this is what literals what happens in heap memory your string constant pool is made your string constant pool this is what is this string constant pool i'll tell you see in your heap memory there is a memory for strings which is called a string constant pool and in that string constant pool lies your object so what is that object here Nitish. so Nitish is lying in the string constant pool in the heap memory okay perfect now i'm now look what i'm doing here i'm um, okay i'm defining another another st string called as name one whose value is same as Nitish, whose value is same as Nitish. Yes. So what will happen in the stack memory? Name one will name one will be there. And please notice one thing. What Java do is instead of creating a new object, instead of creating a new object in the string constant pool, what it will do? It will see, do I have Nitish object in the string constant pool? answer is yes so what it will do name one will point to the same object instead of creating a new object see after this line what happens we have defined a new string which is called as name one equal to the dash perfect now when jvm comes here jvm what jvm will see it will see that do i have this nitish object do i have this nitish object uh, in this uh, heap memory or basically in the string constant pool yes we have so what it will do is it will point the reference variable here what is the reference variable here name one so it will point the name one to the same object nitish so suppose uh, there was an object another object called as rahul so it will it will uh, it will make a new object actually for the name one but still since we have actually uh, the same object and the string constant pool it is pointing to the same object instead of creating a new object okay understood up to here now what happens if look now if i if i okay let's see now this was about your string literals okay this was about your string literals what if i were to input a string uh, using the new keywords say it like i say string name to is equal to new string Nitish. Now, this is a very, very, very important what I'm trying to say. This is your keyword 
string keyword i have written this what will happen name to is what name to is your reference variable so name to will be there reference variable perfect now now when it comes to uh, writing in keywords or basically in new words okay not keywords in the new words what will happen instead of pointing name to to this nitish which is stored in this string constant pool what jvm will do it will create a new object in the heap memory and will name it as nitish okay when it comes to uh, writing a string in the uh, new words what jvm will do it will create a new object of this type of nitish name in the heap memory which is not stored in the string constant pool okay although we have nitish here but what jvm will do when it comes to new words when writing the string in the new words it will create a new object which is stored in the heap memory not in the string constant pool so this name to is not going to point to a new variable a uh, sorry new object which is called as nitish stored in the heap memory and not in the string constant pool but if what if i have this string name 3 equal to nitish can you tell me where will this point name 3 will be here name 3 will be in the stack memory because it is a reference variable since it is string name 3 it is in the form of literals i have written this in the literals so name 3 is now jvm will check do i have name 3 in the string constant pool yes you have so name 3 is going to point to here instead of this why here because we are not using this method for name 3 actually we are using this string literals but for the name 2 stuff for the name 2 stuff we are actually uh, using the new words so that's why jvm created a new object in the heap memory for name 2 and for name 3 since for name 3 we are using this uh, literals the name uh, jvm check do we have nitish in the string constant pool yes we have so uh, name 3 was pointed to nitish okay understood up to here let's now look at what string immutability means what string immutability means okay okay let's let's talk about this so you have string name is equal to nitish i have told you about this string name is equal to nitish name is pointing to nitish name is pointing to nitish okay understood what if i have string name one string name one is equal to nitish what if i have this so name one name one is there and it will point to nitish instead of creating a new object it will point to nitish but if i were to write the name one in the uh, using that keyword method then what will happen a new object called as nitish will be created in the heap memory okay but we have not done that we have used the literals okay perfect now what will be happen what if i do this now i changed name one equal to rahul i said name one equal to rahul now i have made a change in a reference variable pointing to the same object then you have and you have read that if any change is made by a reference variable by one reference variable pointing to an object then that change will also be made to the other reference variable pointing to the same object then this change uh, like name one is equal to rahul you will say Nitesh, you have said that so name one is equal to Rahul name one has got changed so name should also got changed so name should also get changed but the answer here is no name will not get changed instead of what will happen in this name one equal to Rahul a new object which is called as Rahul will be created and name one will point to this but in this you have told that if a change is made by any one reference variable uh, then that change will also be made to the other reference variable pointing to the same object that is true but in case of string it does not hold true why because of string immutability we'll talk about why this immutability concept came what is the benefit we get from the uh, string immutability but the main thing is this name one equal to rahul when i change this name one initially what it was name one initially name one was pointing to nitish also okay okay what happened I, I said name one is equal to rahul change name one to rahul or point name one to rahul 
then name should also point to Rahul because there is a change made by name one and name is also referring to the same object but it but it does not happen the same okay so name one a new object is actually created for uh, a new object is cre actually created for name one understood this is uh, basically a string immutability we'll now look why string immutability concept is there why strings are immutable why okay first of all uh, first of all not the main answer is if you if you want to know why strings are immutable why if i were to tell you about why strings immutable why strings immutable the answer basically here is for security purposes this is how security purposes how security purposes i'll tell you what now suppose okay like my name is Nitish okay my name is Nitish in this world there are a lot of Nitish exist with there are a lot of people exist with the same name as Nitish or there are a lot of people who actually exist with the same name as yours right for a time consider it like uh, Nitish I'm basically from India so this is Nitish from India and m there might be some other people who is living from like from America Nitish then this Nitish is basically from Canada and this Nitish is basically from uh, say it like France a lot of Nitish I'm, I'm just taking an example okay suppose suppose there is assume that these people have set the same password for their uh, laptop suppose 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 they have set the same password for their laptops so they all are pointing to the same object now what if Nitish of India Nitish of India thought that he wants to change his password to password one I thought that I want to change my password to password one password one is a password one basically this is your password one password one okay I want to change my password from password to password one what if strings were immutable what if strings were immutable let's suppose if strings were immutable so password one has got changed there is a change in this reference there is a change made by this reference variable then this change will also be made visible to this 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 I have changed password for myself but these all people actually have also faced that change without even knowing without there was not security okay so that's why immutability concept came which said that if you want to change the password for example if you want to change the password to password 1 what java will do it will create a new object for you called as password 1 where password 1 will be stored and this is now your and it can't be changed and it can't be changed now this is your this is basically your a string immutability concept basically for the security purposes so you have made a change for yourself these all these other people have not faced that change they all feel good or they all have the security okay it, it's basically what your string immutability means or for what string immutable uh, serves the purpose it basically serves the purpose of the security I have changed the password for myself say it like password one the other Nitesh living in the different countries have which were initially having the same password as mine didn't face the any change any change because i changed the password okay so this was all about your why strings are immutable okay and similarly this has got now so when i when i say strings are immutable understand this when strings are immutable it basically means string objects are immutable string objects can't be changed okay string objects can't be changed so this was your concept of string immutability why strings are immutable the main reason is security purposes as, as i have told you about the password stuff like for example it can be any person like i have said uh, taken example of myself it can be any other person okay or it, it can be like nitish alex uh, then it can be like john who have the same password so if nitish change the password if strings were immutable and nitish change the passwords then that change will also be made to the john's account then that change will also be made to this uh, this person's account but it, now strings are immutable so strings are immutable what will happen uh, a new object for this Nitesh will be created 
inside the heap memory and all these other person will get unaffected and will live happily or for whatever the purpose security purpose is going to be served all right so this is actually the concept of the uh, string immutability why strings are immutable definitely for the security purposes so let's end this video for now and before you uh, uh, leave this video uh, make sure you check out the links in the given in the description and in the next video we'll talk about how garbage collector actually works okay and this is one thing i didn't uh, tell you about uh, actually garbage collector for example like very short if i were say like say like string name is equal to nitesh okay and then i say string name is equal to rahul okay string no name is equal to rahul so initially name was pointing to rahul nitesh and now name is pointing to and now name is pointing to rahul name is pointing to rahul what will happen to this nitesh what will happen to this object so java uh, garbage collector will come here it will be treated as a garbage and it will get into this uh, garbage collector okay we'll uh, we'll talk in more uh, detail about this what exactly this happens in the uh, next video we will we'll talk about how garbage collector actually works okay so uh, i hope you guys like this video if you guys do make sure you subscribe to this youtube channel and i'll see you guys in the next video bye bye take care